It seems every week there's a new headline warning this will give you cancer. This week was no exception. The headlines read, processed meat causes cancer. Bacon processed meats as dangerous as smoking. The World Health Organization report that processed meats, including bacon, ham, and hot dogs, increased cancer risks sparked alarming headlines. WHO REVIEWED MORE THAN 800 STUDIES AND FOUND APPROXIMATELY 34,000 DEATHS EACH YEAR CAN BE ATTRIBUTED TO DIETS HIGH IN PROCESSED MEATS. SO WHAT'S THE BEEF? DO YOU REALLY NEED TO BANISH YOUR BELOVED BACON OR DELI MEATS? SO THIS HEADLINE HAS A LOT OF PEOPLE CONFUSED, A LOT OF PEOPLE SCARED. THAT'S WHY WE'RE HERE, TO SET THE RECORD STRAIGHT. Yep. YOU KNOW, THIS ACTUALLY ISN'T Completely no, it's, new. It's not it's news. Not. And, and what's the big deal with this? It all comes from the World, World Health Organization, who, who classifies potential things that can cause cancer. What they've done in this case, they've put meats, processed meats, in the so-called top tier of the most cancer-causing substances and habits, including cigarette use, alcohol, arsenic, asbest, uh, asbestos, things like that. So putting it in that company is, is what's making this a big deal. And as, as we're going to get into in one second, maybe a little bit overkill. Complete overkill. I mean, to the point where my mom is asking me now, should we not have ham for Thanksgiving? So what we really want to do is set the record straight should. on what does this mean and what does this mean about our eating habits. Now, keep in mind what they said is that a 50 gram portion of processed meat. Now, processed meat are things like ham, salami, sausages, um, hot dogs. So 50 grams equals three slices of bacon. Two pieces, of, two pieces of ham, less than two sausage links, and one hot dog. Now, these are based on people who've had this every single day of their life. If you're having deli meats, hot dogs, all these things every day of your life, are you increasing your risk of developing colon rectal cancer? Well, yes, we, we, and we've known for years that you were. And that's, that's what we've, we've been talking about this for years on the show, and it gets back to something we always stress, which is moderation. And if, yes. you know, every single single day, you're eating a ton of processed meat, yes, you're increasing your risk. But when you break down the numbers, the stat is 18% increase in colorectal cancer. That is if you have 50 grams per day of processed meat. So if the average risk of bowel cancer in a lifetime is 5%, that means your overall risk goes up to 6%. So that's where the numbers do matter. Yes. But it, I mean, that's, that's not insignificant. We no. should be talking about it. But obviously, when it is put in the same tier as cigarettes, is eating a piece of bacon anywhere close to smoking cigarettes? No. No, no way. No, no, no. no. Remember, we had the 100-year-old woman on the show who, who's, who, who claimed, I, I eat bacon every day. Yep, Well, Sounds I like mean, my grandma. You know, for her, she can tolerate it. We're not advocating that. But I mean, you have to look at the overall picture other other potential risks that you have for her she can eat bacon in moderation and it has an effect having said that before this headline came out after all the headlines over the last number of years about potential uh connection to cancer i, I don't eat a ton of processed meat no. i'll be the first to admit it do i avoid it completely no but without a doubt i'm not gorging myself with processed meats right and yes, processed meats are turkey bacon too, chicken sausage. I mean, it's just processed meats in general because of the process around it. Well, it's it. a whole, so, the whole idea about preservation, right? It's, it's what they need to preserve it, adding salt, curing it, smoking it, nitrates. fermenting it, nitrates. Mm -hmm. And the truth the, is we need, yes. we need more studies also going forward because now there's all this talk about is well, grass-fed beef better? Does this include certain other types of beef? More to be studied on this and certainly when the next headline hits, We've got you covered. That's right. We're after the break.